hello everyone and welcome to my channel so today on my channel i'll be doing a full review of the all new dell precision 7670 mobile workstation now permit me this video is going to be a little bit long because there's so much to talk about about this laptop now if you are new into the precision series the precision mobile workstation comes in three different series we have the 3000 series we have the 5000 series and we have the 7000 series now the 7000 series is where they'll put in all their best it's a performance focused series so you have the best of the processing power and you also have the best of the gpus so and then the 7670 is no different so it has that power and also that uh, processor you can spec it out to any processor you want it comes in core i5 it comes in core i7 and then also a core i9 and then you can max the gpu to uh, rtx a55000 with 16 gigs of uh, dedicated memory so and the processor is the hx processor not the regular h processor that we commonly have so it's the latest hx processor from the intel now the 7670 has a similar design footprint like the last year uh, 7570 and then the 77 7, sorry the last year 7560 and then 7760 so except for some few design change which i'm going to point out now the change is on the back of the laptop so the previous last year going model has a kind of border at the top here so but the border has gone so you only have that Dell logo which makes the laptop back to be a little bit clean and then also the last year model and even the 2020 model has their ports at the back but this year they decide to uh, shift the whole port to the sides of the laptop so now in all the precision series they all come in either a 15 inch or 17 inch but this year they're bringing a 16 inch model so the 16 inch model tries to strike a balance between those who feel that the 15 inch is a little bit smaller for their design and then the 17 is a little bit uh bigger so but despite the fact that it's a 16 inch so it still have that design that heavy duty design and it is very very powerful because like i said this is a 7000 series so it is a performance focused now apart from being a 17 inch sorry being a 16 inch so they'll also introduce some new things like uh, this laptop you can customize it even to the chassis yes so in the chassis you can pick between a thin chassis and a performance chassis now the thin chassis is going to be a little bit lighter than this one while the performance chassis is this one that has uh, this big positive design now on the chassis again you can choose to have a smart card reader and also a fingerprint palm rest so but unfortunately i did not go for the one with the fingerprint palm brace so i only go for the regular one and then you can also choose between a backlit keyboard and a non-backlit keyboard which is something that i'm kind of not liking because a laptop costing three thousand dollars and above should at least come with the basic thing and then backlit keyboard i think is a basic thing it's not something that you have to pay for so like to get a backlit keyboard you are going to pay additional 32 dollars so which is a kind of an apple treatment so making you to pay extra for something that's supposed to come as a basic now like i said it comes in different configuration even on the screen you have about six different screen options to choose from there is a an, an oled 4k touchscreen panel as well now if you come to the port selection the port is also customizable although not all like from the left side you have the charging port and then you have the casting lock and you have full 
HDMI port and you have a USB A port and you have two USB Type C port which doubles as a Thunderbolt 4 port. Now at the front you only have the charging LED indicator at the right. And then at the right side you have the micro SD card reader and then you have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and then you have a type c port and then another usb a port and then your casting lock now this type c port is when i uh, when i say that uh, the ports can be customizable now this type c port depends on the type of gpu you choose so like me the gpu that i choose which is a uh, quadro it's no longer called quadro anyway so it is called rtx a 2000 so with edit dedicated so it's the one that comes with that display port so this type c port is only for the display of the gpu now for the specs of the one i have here it has a 16 inch full hd display and it comes with a 12th generation intel core i7 12850hx 16 core processor 8 core efficiency and then 8 core performance and then it comes with a nvidia rts a2000 with 8 gigs of dedicated gddr6 graphics now it has a 32 gig of ddr5 ram and the 512 gig of nvme ssd now the ddr5 ram is a proprietary ddr5 ram now like i said in this model you can crank it up to either 32 uh, core i5 or core i7 or core i9 all are on hx series now also the ram you can go to 128 gig but for the 128 gig it must be the proprietary dell ram so which i'm going to be talking about later on on the video now there is a new thing that uh, dell introduced and that is what they call the dell optimizer now the Dell Optimizer has a lot, bunch of things going on, but I'm only interested in one thing, which is the present detection. Now, I talked about this present detection in the, my previous review of the LG Gram 16 for 2022. If you've not watched the video, you can go and uh, watch it and then see what it's all about. But I'll still talk about it here. Now, the present detection is a kind of software that uses your webcam to detect if someone is watching you from the back for example now maybe i am working with my laptop in a train station and then someone because i'm not able to see at my back someone is not trying to snoop into my work by looking by watching me from the back the laptop automatically detects the person and then blow out whatever i am doing with the laptop and then notify me on the screen that someone is watching me from the back so that way it protects my privacy and whatever I am doing. Another thing that the present detection also does is uh, maybe you are working in a public or you are working in a public or shared office space. So and then your boss called you. Then because you go to respond to your boss, you didn't have time to lock your laptop. So the laptop will automatically detect that you are no longer with the laptop and then automatically lock itself. So making it very very easy so you don't have to worry about locking the laptop before you go now these are very very good feature but the implementation on this Dell it is not good in fact I tried everything possible to make it work or to see it work but it doesn't work so on the LG it is better implemented so the LG, I did it, I tested it, and it worked very, very fine. But on this Dell, I tried several, either to do the present detection thing, it doesn't work. Also, the automatic lock, it doesn't work. So I think if Dell got to see this video, this is a very nice feedback, so they can go back to the drawing board and then fix it. Then another thing about the present detection in this Dell is that Dell did not give the user a free hand to customize it to each choice now like for the lg gram that i'm uh, reviewed you can set the automatic lock to one second that is one second you are just away from the laptop the laptop should lock itself now but on the dell this precision so it takes 13 seconds so that is the minimum 
time that it can lock itself is 13 seconds sorry 30 seconds which is very very too big because you may just turn your back and someone will just swap a seat but one second is very very enough as soon as you turn your back it locks so that is another thing that they'll need to fix now about uh, performance of this laptop the hx series is the best of the best when it comes to mobile processor as at today so they are very very powerful and they are very very efficient and then the gpu is very very good although like i said this laptop is not for gaming so it is for purely professional work for architects and then engineers people who do with the card so it is not for gaming at all so if you want a gaming laptop you can look x-ray but that does not mean that you cannot play a game with it you can play heavy games at a very low settings so but you cannot expect that gts performance on the graphic card even though it has a beefy dedicated graphic memory but it is not for game it is for card works that is computer aided designs so now about upgrade of this laptop you can upgrade the ram you can upgrade the ssd it has about uh, three different ssd slots which one is already occupied so and then for the ram it depends on the model you choose like for this one i have here it comes with a proprietary ram so although it has a screw i'm going to open it up and then show you the uh the proprietary ram so this is the internal of the laptop so you can see this is the proprietary ram so it's a 32 gig ddr5 ram it is called cam ram so it has some screws so which means you can actually upgrade it in the future so it also has uh, a sim card slot here so this is the nvme ssd slot and then this is another nvme slot this is another one which is already occupied so the wi-fi card is not user upgradable now about the upgrades now if you buy the model with the regular ddr5 ram maybe you buy the 32 gig ram and then hopefully in the future you want to upgrade it to 64 gigs of ram it is quite possible but unfortunately you cannot upgrade it to uh, 128 gigs of ram because the one with the regular ram cannot be upgraded to 128 gigs of ram now if you buy the one that i have here with the proprietary ram maybe the 32 gig and then maybe plan or hope to upgrade it to uh, 128 gig ram in the future i am not sure that will be possible judging from what dell does dell are not to be trusted when it comes to proprietary stuff like this for example when the alienware area 51m was uh, released the laptop was manufactured to use a uh, desktop replaceable processor and also a proprietary gpu and then their promise that subsequently in the future when nvidia manufacture new gpu that they are also going to manufacture a proprietary gpu that are going to fit in that the uh, alien way so that the uh, user will just need to upgrade the cp uh, the gpu and not uh, buy a new laptop people started buying the laptop buying the laptop now back in 2020 when the nvidia released a new gpu series the 2070 super the 2080 super and the 2060 super dell chicken out they did not manufacture those graphics the one that is going to fit in that area where 51 m r1 so instead they released alien where 51 r2 now even if you try to buy those one to remove the gpu it's not going to fit in the alienware area 51 r1 so you end up dumping the alienware area 51 r1 and to buy the r2 so that is my experience so and uh, i'm also telling people now because like i said i don't trust them so they will just promise you something so once you get in you are no more getting out so that's it guys the laptop is very capable and like i said it is designed for a specific market in mind so it is not for everybody it is for 
those who are into computer aided designs the engineers and the architects now for the bezel i think they would have done something better the bezel is still very very big although it has an ir camera with a privacy lock but i don't think that's enough reason to justify the big bezels at least they are doing something very good with the xps line and even with their other products so they are trying to reduce the bezel i don't know why they still keep this giant bezel it's not the most we see the dell logo at the top we can see the dell branding at any other way so but it is what it is so guys thanks you for watching my video and please do subscribe to my channel for more video bye